What is going on, guys? It is your boy, Mr. Headquarters, man. Thank you for stopping by. Treyarch came out with a live stream at uh, was around 1 o'clock Central Standard Time, my time. And what they did was is they went over everything that was going to be coming into the update, what we was getting, and some of the things that we was hoping we was getting were not going to be getting. And they went over the blackout. Okay, right now on the blackout, we're going to get Zero's EMP grenade, which I'm glad we're going to be getting that because whenever you're in the last stretch or and somebody lays the barricade down or they got a sensor dart, uh, mesh mines would be a good thing to throw out on the road when you're riding on a four-wheeler when you don't have reinforcements on the perk. That's a good thing to throw out as well. And with all the people at the last circle trying to drive around in circles and just run over people, if you can find that EMP grenade, you can be able to throw that at the enemy's car and it will actually stall it and kill the engine for a moment. So that way you will be able to jump into the car and dominate the other player. Okay, so I'm glad that is coming in. And also the Outlanders with the bursting arrows, they're going to be coming in. And they said the only way that you can get these is actually through the supply drops. Now, I don't know if it's going to be the actual supply crates that fall from the uh, airplane that comes across the map or if we can actually find these in the bunkers in the building. They just said that it will be coming in supply drops. So being supply drops, I'm believing that it may be the only ones that drop from the sky from the airplane. I do not know. We sure will find out. They also stated that there's no way to replenish ammo on that. So once you get the 10 arrows, once you utilize those burst arrows, you're done with it. You can't find any more. 10 is all you're going to get. There's no way that anybody can carry any for you, just like the rockets on the grenade launchers. So let's look into the perks. They're going to nerf some of the perks. They're having a big problem where people are stating that at the last circle, people are staying in the storm and they're using the Outlander Medic Consumer. They're using those, so they're actually going to turn up the damage profile, the last circle. So you cannot actually hide in the circle, turn on consumer, the medic, and outlander. So you take less storm damage, and the medic allows you to heal faster, and then also your consumer will allow your perks to last longer. So what they did was is the best way to uh, balance that out, they decided to go ahead and take the last circle and go ahead and make that just absolutely damage you. So... I'm looking forward to see exactly how much damage because the way they said, do not let that storm touch you. I bet it's going to do 100 damage. So uh, I know towards the end it does a 50 damage profile. So I'm looking to see a 100 damage profile. So actually like I'd say half a second in the storm if it butts into you, you're dead. And that also gives a good upside on when you're in the last circle and that person hits that storm. You've got a bigger advantage on that person because they're going to be a lower health range and they're going to be trying to heal and you can try to eliminate that person and get that victory one and secure that the demolition hammer the demo hammer as they said it the melee weapon it is going to be coming to the game in blackout uh they did not specify exactly where we could find this at but i'm looking forward to finding it probably in supply crates or a lot of times they spawn new stuff in uh firing range they did not say that it's going to shoot any kind of bullets or anything because it did look like in the picture that it's going to actually launch something but uh, the way they described it into the video, and I will leave a link in the description down below for the video for you guys to check it out. It's about 45 minutes long, so I'm just going to go over a recap of that. And the demolition hammer, they said it's just going to be a cool look to run around. Uh, I guess be like kind of like having a knife, you just you know whack people with it, and the money bag. And so it's just to give it some kind of change of the meta. Uh, they're going to bring ambush back. They said ambush 2.0, which they said it's really not 2.0, 3.0. It's just ambush. And what they're going to do is they're going to be removing the ATVs and the ARABs and the SDMs. All right, so they're also going to be adding more four times scopes and they're going to be adding shotguns. Now, they did not specify exactly if it was going to be coming tomorrow on the update or not, but they said it's going to be coming. So uh, that way people aren't running around just trying to kill people with the uh, ARABs and ride around with ATVs and sniping people. I mean, I've had some good luck on that as well. Uh, the after action report, they actually said they're going to show uh, some skill bases of where you are on your uh, after action and what you might do to improve. I didn't really get uh, the gist of what they was trying to grasp on that, so uh, hopefully we can uh, go back and check that out and see exactly what they was talking about because it didn't really make sense. It was somehow or another how they could show uh, what you did wrong or something, and somehow or another, I'm um, looking forward to seeing how that's going to work. They did drop bombs. Uh, Vonderhart on the blackout side, he said, I can't tell you what's going to happen, but he said, 
something for the hot droppers is coming so that with me is going to say that we're going to be getting a new map sometime or another placed onto the blackout map so where that airplane i showed you in the previous video if you have not already go check it out i give hints on that there's actually a plane in the water that is smoking so that is an easter egg to us notifying that that is going to be coming something right there and we've been you know spectating that ever since uh hijack came everybody's been saying something's going to pop up there and it has not because it's just a such an open area let's jump on over to league play what they said about league play is they're actually going to add more ladders for stronger players and they're going to have actually skill medals just like prestige logos and stuff once you actually go through and you're at the top percentage or you're in the top tier levels you're actually going to have levels to indicate and it's going to say uh, they named off master elite and expert emblems so whenever you go into a game you'll see somebody if they're master level if they're expert or elite now i'm going to tell you right now if i see somebody master nine times out of ten they're probably going to be a pro player pro player and i'm going to back out man i'm just going to tell you but i don't really play a whole lot of league play but it's fun to jump into every now and then they also stated that friendly fire ricocheted off spawn so what they're having is in league plays a lot of people are being kids and they're just shooting their whole team off spawn and getting kicked and it's just killing the whole meta and actually killing the other players score so what they did to do that was is they're going to allow i believe they said three team kills then after that it's going to be a ricochet to where it kills you but also at the first spawn if a player was to shoot you right off the spawn jump of the map it will actually kill him so they added ricochet to the very beginning of the map and then threw on the league play or whatever it's going to take friendly fire you're allowed to kill three people then all of a sudden it's going to start uh ricocheting on you so it will actually kick you and not the other uh guys or what or not kill the guys and keep them from getting their streaks and then finally man we got some weapon balance coming back to the game I did not actually see them to try to do some weapon balance on the multiplayer side, but what they did was is that they're going to do some weapon balance on the multiplayer side to actually help the CWL because what they're wanting to do is, is you all you have is three guns that's basically used, and they want to try to expand that out and allow people to use more guns. Right now, all you see is the SOG, the Maddox, and the ICR. And they're wanting to put something in there between the Maddox and the ICR range and to actually change it up a little bit and give it more of a play style and more of, I guess, viewer credibility. So what they're gonna do is, and I cannot believe they're doing it, they're actually going to buff the KN57. And it's funny in the video, because the guy said the KN54, or KN44, and it's actually the KN57. I mean, I was like, I can't believe nobody stopped him or caught him off guard on that or even mentioned that. But that gun right there, if you have watched any other YouTubers videos, they they godly praise that gun because it's automatically already so good. It's not actually the best, best gun, but it is one of the powerful uh, rifles in the game by far. I mean, that is my go-to gun between that and the Maddox, but nine times out of 10, I'm gonna use the KM57 because it has that damage profile. And what they're gonna do to it is they're actually gonna increase the damage profile range. So it, those bullets, it's gonna actually probably go down to a four shot kill instead of a five shot. And I can't wait to see that. They're also going to uh, try to bring SMGs to more of a playable side of the uh, multiplayer side because a lot of people are not using a whole lot of SMGs. So what they want to do is they want to try to bring that level up. So by that, I believe they're just going to do a sweep across the board on SMGs. They're going to uh, increase the range profile on that as well. And also they're going to add a grip to all those to actually stabilize a little more. The ABR, they said all they're going to do to it is, uh, you know, add a little more ammo and add the handling. Uh, the Rampar, all they basically said was is they're going to uh, release the flinch. Less flinch than the Rampar. And the Rampar, if you run double high cow with long barrel, it is absolutely dominant. Okay, then they came on and said with the snipers, the Paladin. They did not want to add extended max. So what they did was is instead of five bullets, you're going to be carrying six bullets. But with you carrying that six bullets, there's also a downside to it. It's going to actually take you just a little bit longer to reload. So you got to take credibility for, I mean, accountable for that reload time. And the SDM, which in my opinion is a sorry gun in the game, I do not like it whatsoever. What they're doing to it is they're going to increase the fire rate so it fires faster. I mean, you might as well just run the Arger DMR or some other kind of sniper rifle or a rifle because the SDM is really not even playable in the game. It takes too many shots to kill somebody and blackout as well. I mean, it's just a garbage map. I mean, a garbage gun altogether. Uh, hit detection. They noticed they had a lot of hit detection with people with higher pings. So what they're doing with the hit detection is they tried to balance it a little well. So if you've seen some people that uh, that actually ran 
with the um, with the fire gun. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Um, if you actually see people run around and hit people, it just it don't kill them. They get killed by a gun and they just completely get smothered with fire, and it does not kill them. So what they're going to do is they're going to increase the detection on that. So maybe that'll help the people with the higher pings. And they are going to be adding the bare bones no specialist playlist. Your grenade, whatever you spawn in with, whatever you decide to pick on your equipment, you're going to actually load that in. And it's going to be fully charged when you get in. Once you throw it, if you go on a 20, a 40, a 50 kill streak, you're not going to get another one. The only way that it's going to get recharged is, is if you die and you start the game over again, or you respawn back in the game, should I say. So that concludes everything that we have coming launching for us tomorrow. It'll be 12 o'clock Central Standard Time, my time. So guys, if you have not already, hit that subscribe button and follow your boy, Mr. Headquarters. I'm on that road to 200 subscribers. So if you would, take a second out of your time and subscribe to the channel because I'm uploading Call of Duty content. If you like what you see, you like what you hear, come on and join you. And I tend to stream every single day around 7 p.m. Central time, Standard Time. So make sure you come by and check me out. I'm on Twitch and YouTube. Come by and say hi. Join the lobby. Help me knock it out. Sweats on sweats. You know that's how we like it. But I got to get out of here, man. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm going to go ahead and grind some more Call of Duty. So check over on Twitch and YouTube. I may be live as we speak. So I got to get out of here, man. Y'all have a fantastic night. Peace.